Hey guys, I am Danae Rudy from Rudy Horsemanship and I have a quick tip that I want to share with you about crookedness in the rider. So a lot of times we see riders that, you know, have one-sidedness. Maybe they drop one shoulder or one hand is constantly lower than the other hand. Maybe one leg keeps riding up and they can't seem to get that heel down. And a lot of times well-meaning instructors will say things like, you know, lift your right shoulder, lift your right hand, put your left hip hand down, put your right heel down, and it never seems to fix things, right? So whenever you have one-sided issues, always start by fixing it from the pelvis. Once you put the pelvis back in the middle, all those things that were crooked suddenly come into alignment if you fix the pelvis first. Sometimes riders will still have a little bit of crookedness left over, but if you fix the pelvis first, a lot of times it's way easier to fix everything else. So that being said, I do not always ride right in the middle of my saddle. When I am going to the right, I want my horse to bend their body to the right. So I will actually scooch over a little bit to the right. So that way, my right leg now becomes my power leg. So it's really natural to step down into my right stirrup. This helps the horse to swing their rib cage out of the way so they can bend through their body. Then when I change directions, I swoosh over to the left and let my left hip slump down a little bit so that my horse is now bending to the left. Again, it helps them swing the rib cage out of the way so they can wrap their body around my powerful left leg. If you ever feel like one leg just is not behaving, right? If you have one leg that your heel keeps creeping up or it keeps sliding all over the place, try shifting your weight over that leg. So when I have students with one-sided issues, um, which is pretty much everybody at some point, one of the first exercises I have them do is we work on a figure eight. And as soon as they go the new direction, I have them shift way over to the inside and really drop that inside hip down into the hole. So I have them actually high center their outside butt cheek in the middle of the saddle. And I have them exaggerate this both directions. Once they're over here, I want everything to stay straight. So they really put a lot of weight into their inside stirrup and then have them bring their shoulders around a little to the inside. And then as soon as they change directions, I want them to swoosh across the saddle, drop the new inside seat bone, and turn their body the new direction. And I have them really exaggerate it both ways. Because if they can exaggerate evenly both directions, the middle is somewhere in between. So if you can exaggerate both directions evenly, it just unlocks things in your body that are causing you to be crooked. So there you go. If you have any one-sidedness issues, I hope that helps. Um, if you're working on bending, that should also really help. And uh, if you want more quick tips, you can follow our Rudy Horsemanship page on Facebook. And if you want to binge watch our tips, go to YouTube and look up our Rudy Horsemanship channel. And as I upload them to Facebook, I'll also be uploading to YouTube, so you should be able to catch a whole bunch of them there at one time. All right, onwards and upwards, guys. Keep improving, and I'll see you in the arena.